is obsessed okay. with yours right now. I have to make another video because I missed my uh, AMA last week. So I decided to do a story time. What oh, do you think, babe, babe, I love story times. But the problem is I, I have so many stories in my head that I don't know what I want to story about. Okay, I'll start it. Once upon a time. Once upon a time. There was, there was. a... Let me turn this. Okay. Once upon a time, there were two little boys. Okay. And they loved epic adventures. Oh my gosh, no. This is, this is, this is what we do every night to Ocean and Kingston. Because <laughs> they always want to hear a brand new story. Please. I'm just like, Please. I got to come up with something. So I, I want to tell the story of how we became obsessed with sailing. So, it all started when I was younger. Um, my parents sent me on this trip called, sent me on this trip called Broad Reach. I'm going to destroy <laughs> that bag. They sent me on this trip called Broad Reach and it was this three week camp where there were like eight to 10 boys and eight to 10 girls, or maybe there was like six and six, I don't know. Um, and one scuba instructor and one sailing instructor on a catamaran and we would go down the Grenadines or some like, you know, other area and sail for 21 days, get all of our certifications, learn how to sail, and basically have a good time. You know, we would cook for each other, all this stuff. It was it was a summer camp. And, and man, I'm so thankful that my parents did that because I had the best time. I went three, three different summers um, and Broadridge was amazing. Uh, so jump to about what, eight years ago, seven years ago? Yeah. Yeah. Seven, seven years ago, Alexa and I are talking about a summer trip. And I said, what if, like, I, I used to sail. So what if we charter a like, bear boat, a sailboat? And I was like, you know, what's bear boat? I said, well, that's where you just rent the sailboat and you just go sailing. No captain, no chef, no nothing. It's just, you just get the bear boat. That's why it's called bear boat. And, and Lex said, okay, I'm down. And immediately I was kind of shocked because she'd never sailed before. I had very minimal experience, but I thought we got this. So I remember I, for like three or four weekends, I drove up to Santa Barbara. And, and I remember you didn't have to do an overnight. Yeah. It was so sad. Yeah. I took dog. sailing lessons for like a whole month and I got all my recertifications and all this stuff so I could actually rent the boat. And I told a handful of my friends, I said, Hey, you guys, all you got to do is pay for your flight and food and let's go. So we all met in Grenada and we sailed for what? It was like, it was awesome. I think like 10 days. Or, yeah. I think just shy of two weeks. Yeah. But, you know, I almost randomly, oh, uh, texted George to be like, Hey, come to Bible study tonight. Oh, Hoping dude. to surprise you, but you wouldn't have been here. Oh, so dude. It was well, George, George was, uh, yeah. He was one of the Good guys. Good dude. On he was one of the guys on, on the trip. And we had the best time. I mean, we sailed for 10, 12 days, you know, up and down and just I don't know. It it, it was so much fun. So so we came back and <laughs> this is terrible, but I like okay. no, like um uh, I think it was like a few months after we got back. I was like hooked, and I was like, "We we we, we have to buy a sailboat." Oh my gosh! And Lex was like, "We're not buying a catamaran." I'm like, "No, we have to. We we, we just like we, we just have to sell everything and buy a catamaran." She's like, "That's like no, I'm like no, sell everything wasn't even on the table." Well, we had to sell it. Like we In couldn't order to buy a catamaran. Yeah, back we couldn't then, afford yeah. to buy a catamaran. So we had to sell everything. So Alexa gets on the phone with like her business managers and like, "Listen, you got you you just gotta talk." Talk, talk Carlos. To this Yo, talk. Yeah, this was before you had a business manager. Yeah, please talk to Carlos and tell him it's not going to happen. And they convinced me not to, and it was a sad day. But at, at, By the, way, at the end of it, now. no, hold on. At the end of it, it was great. So then the next summer, we did it again. That story is absolutely insane. Um, maybe one day we'll tell it. Maybe one day we'll tell it. It got a little crazy. Uh, but we survived. And then jumped to. What, like five five years later, mm -hmm. I've always had this thing in, in the back of my head. And I was like, I want to go sail. I want to go sail. I want to go sail. And Alexa basically... Well, we would YouTube Sailing La Vagabond when they first started. Oh, yeah. And their YouTube channel was amazing. And how many subscribers Dude, did they, they have, have when we like, first started watching them? Nothing. And now they're in the, like million, two, what, like just millions. Um, but it, if you guys haven't checked them out, Sailing La Vagabond... 
so good. Uh, our, our other, I I would argue is my top top favorite is Sailing Zatara. Sailing Zatara, so good. I think it's because like they're like they the have, whole like, family. Yeah, like on like boat. and the kids are older, you mm-hmm. know. Um, but anyways, so jump to this summer, like almost two years into COVID, Alexa and I are talking and, um, and I said, listen, we have this, you know, rental property that that's been a great investment. What if we sell it and buy a boat? And I'm expecting Alexa to go, no, like the, no. And she looks at me and she's like, sounds like a great idea. <laughs> and I was like, is that what I said? No, sorry, 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 hold on. <laughs> are, you, are you Voldemort now again? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, no, so so she said, sure. So, this, so then we had our friends over, remember Ryan and Chelsea? We, do you saw that video? I, I saw the video. I said, you guys, what if we got a sailboat and we sailed down in the Caribbean or the Bahamas or something? And they were like, we're down, we're down, we're down. So that just set off the journey to look for the boat. We found the perfect boat. Now we have the boat, we're refitting it, getting it ready to sail, and um, yeah, that's 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 how we got to this point. A lot, a lot, like a lot of people ask, like, what, like, how'd you get, like, what made you want to do that? Well, actually, before you even come home for Christmas break, you are going back to Florida. Yeah. To step the mast. Yeah. So, it was just, so we're gonna put the mast back on the boat, get it all ready, get the sails back on, and uh, hopefully have this thing ready to go top of next year, so we can. Do some cruising. Before, uh, yeah. Now, now I don't. Uh, I'd be lying if, if I said that we were full time cruisers. Oh, I'm a full time cruiser. Oh, I'm, I miss cruising. Oh, do you miss cruising? I miss cruising. I miss cruising. I was thinking about it today. Yeah. I was like, man, we used to cruise so. What do you much. miss most about cruising? I think the um, the fact that everything is right there. Yeah. The easy. E- oh, yeah. Like, why am I looking at you? <laughs> The easiness of cruising. Yeah. yeah, but now now we're gonna be able to cruise ourselves. Yeah. And instead of the food being ready, I I just go. You go. Hey, you talk uh, to your personal chef. Hey, Alexa. Alexa. Uh, my personal chef, Alexa. I'm I'm I'm. I would like a sandwich. And be like, okay, well, if you tickle my back tonight. Oh my gosh. You can have uh, as many sandwiches. No, but no, no, but like we, you know, a question that I get a lot is, are are you guys gonna sail the world? Yeah. <laughs> yes. No. I'd say that we're taking it I would, I would one like mile at a time, but I would love to do that. I would love to be able to take that boat across the Pacific. You know, Kendall and Mika told me yesterday that if we ever crossed the Pacific, that they'd be crew. No way. Yeah, I was like, or, what? or yeah, or like, you know, they, I mean, actually, they said that they would come on at any time, but I was like, well, dude, especially if we do any big crossings, I mean, that'd be so fun. So fun, right? So, um, so yeah, so next year, uh, Actually, Logan went with us on one of the Logan did, Logan did the first trip. Oh my god! Yes. Yeah, way back when. Way back in the day. Yeah, it's crazy. Dating, dating your sister. So funny. Yeah. Fun fact: Logan Dude, he, used to date. He could have been my brother-in-law, like legit, legit brother-in-law. I don't know who dodged the bullet. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Logan. I don't know. I don't I'm know. I'm a little Logan, crazy. Mackenzie. I don't know if you guys, oh, you guys man. but they just were not meant to be. Oh, man. But Logan's still in the family anyway. Logan will always be in the family. Uh, but we're going to be sailing next year, so we're super excited to see how that goes. And uh, I, 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 I hope you guys join our journey on YouTube. I got like five to eight episodes that I am in, in the middle of, of editing. And hopefully... I feel like I love you. I feel like that's been like that for like six months. I've been so busy. You I mean. have been so busy. I'm not saying... Maybe we hire... Uh, Somebody like an editor. Or can something. I just get the first one, the first few out myself, so I can feel like I did something? Do you have control issues, Carlos? Um, I do not have any control <laughs> issues, Alexa. Carlos. Oh my gosh. Okay. I love you. I'm, I'm ending this video. I hope you guys like this story time. I hope it wasn't terribly boring. Uh, but that is how we uh, s- found our love for sailing and what our plans are, and we are excited to embark on this new journey. Yeah. Um, I always tell people, they're like, um, uh, like, are you afraid to sail a boat? No, I'm not afraid. Um, I don't know what I am. <laughs> I'm optimistic. I'm excited. Yeah. I don't know. It's really fun. I don't, yeah. 
Are we too optimistic? Like, no. I just don't really... Could, could we have bought a smaller boat? Possibly. Uh, possibly a little, a, a little bit smaller, but I mean, you know... We, we wanted the comforts, you know, and... Um, I'm really not nervous about it at all. Good, and good. And I wonder if that should scare us. No, 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 no. <laughs> we'll be fine. There's... We're fine. We're fine. It's it's hard to flip a catamaran. We did it. No, no, to flip. Oh. We, not, <laughs> no, no, no. We are in the middle of flipping it, and, and br it's a 14-year-old boat, so we have to change everything and... Cool. You mean, like... Like Turn like like physically over. flip it capsize. There All we right. go. It's, it's it's hard to capsize. Yeah, catamaran. <laughs> I was like, well, we did it, babe. I'm so proud of us. It's late. We should go to sleep. Okay. Yep. Story time over. Rio. Final words. Hi. Hi. There we go. Yeah. Okay, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Much love. God bless. And as always, God bless. Peace.